This is the Ed Leascallon Magnetic Generator Replica. My name is Roy, and I'm here to show everybody tonight a little test that I'm going to show you guys. Right now, I'm just giving you a little bit of the wheel. You can see how crazy this thing looks. It's all over the place. For you guys who are following Ed Leascallon, He's a gentleman who built the Coral Castle down in Homestead, Florida. They found this machine in his work area, in his tool shed, and supposedly it's got a lot of mysteries attached to it. It's got a crankshaft, motor block down bottom, grounding rod. It's got this rod that comes along the top for, I guess, for different things. It's got it's about 60% uh, done. What it does, we'll find out, hopefully. But tonight's test is going to be the machine versus the man. This is not Ed Leascallon, this is Roy. And here's the test for tonight. I got a little help here tonight. I'm going to put my voltmeter down. We're going to turn the voltmeter on to AC. And pretty much I got it on AC. And I'm going to put it down to 2. I can put it to millivolts, I guess. Which, I know we have a lot more to deal with than that, but I want to start off on that. So I'm going to take uh, the positive here, and I'm going to connect it to the machine itself on the ring. Which, on this side, I have a cable going from the motor block to the grounding rod. So the block is officially grounded. So that means that this ring is grounded right now. So we're dealing with, let me go up a little higher so we're dealing with stuff. So I got the block touching ground. I have the negative in my hand and we're looking at 0.27. I'm going to give this to a friend of mine, and we're going to look at his hand, and he's holding just the part of it that's in, insulated, and there's the number. So I'm going to have him go ahead and touch it with his hand, with his other hand, and he's going to touch, and you can see it goes up to 455, 458. So pretty much this is the other end touching the machine, which is grounded to the ground and this is a human body so what I want to demonstrate right now is when I touch every time I touch him it goes down and we're both standing on rubber mats here's our feet and move your hand a little bit closer this way and every time I touch Bam, you can see it go down. So this is basically a, just a test to show, um, one, your body being an electrical system, how it reacts to one end being touched to a negative and the other end touched to, let's switch to positive and negative. Let's go on that side. Let's go over here. And we're going to stick that back to the ring we're showing with that let me see we try without without him touching put that ring about right down here without him touching we're at you see it at now go ahead and touch that end without moving it put it back over there and now it jumps up and climbs so this is your electrical system in your body um 
pretty much working through this voltmeter right now. And Ed's machine. So now when I go ahead and touch him with my hand, my finger, I bring him down. I bring him down. So I was trying to show how sensitive that our electrical systems are in our human body. And um, this is Roy. Just showing another little test there. Um, been pushing through on the machine. Um, I love your comments. Uh, right now I'm just uh, still working on uh, some tests right now. But um, we talked about in some of the comments about the machine and uh, what reactions it has. And now I just wanted to show that if you touch the voltmeter through it, that it seems like a balanced machine that it, it kind of shows how sensitive our electrical systems are in our body. So I want you guys to think about that tonight and ponder it. This is Roy checking out. Peace out.